So, time to marinate some meat, some ribeye that we got. So it's going to marinate it in a plastic bag with KTS original barbecue oil, salt and black pepper and, uh, and garlic. That's it. So it's a bit windy, but we manage and I like uh, thick pieces there we go it's not perfect meat. Uh, I like to have uh, much more fat in it and, and the fat in, in the middle, but uh, this is okay. go first round hey baby there we go and uh, just a little bit of garlic I think I'm gonna use like almost everything <laughs> we like garlic a lot. Okay, good bot. My dog is licking. To me, to me, to me. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I guess I. Only yeah, joking. I, I don't eat today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concentrated. <laughs> I don't want to cut myself, yeah? Yeah, we need to cut me. I just put a little bit of garlic first. Like two. One piece of meat. A bit more garlic. More meat. More garlic. And now we have the meat in the bag. Now we're just gonna open this one. And this is the best barbecue sauce there is so far. A good shake because it's uh, quite a lot of oil in it. So you want the, the flavors to mix. And then you just pour. Yeah. Come on. 
and that's sufficient for just the two of us. And then I just close this one up with a bit of air in it so we can shake it around. And there we go. <laughs> so now it's just gonna marinate for a few hours. Uh, the best is, uh, of course, if you do this uh, the day before, but uh, we didn't prepare. So, yeah, that's it. So we're just out walking a bit, uh, having a look at the, the ocean. So this is a nice beach. A lot of people, so we will walk back. But uh, really, really nice. The spring is lovely at the moment, quite hot. So just walking around here, you have the beach that we were earlier over there, but overlooking the Baltic Ocean. Here's my dog. Yeah, lovely. Oh, hello beautiful. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, she, she's uh, barbecuing some mushrooms and... Uh, was it uh, zucchini? 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 Young zucchini? Young zucchini. I don't know. Mushroom? Yeah. And then I'm gonna barbecue some meat after. Yes. Time to barbecue these uh, ribeyes, the babies. We are hungry and they are well marinated. So it's gonna be some nice flames later on. And here we have the last one. Yeah. They're just gonna sit on, on the ground here. We brought uh, a very small uh, barbecue with us, <laughs> so, but yeah, keep it simple. Very small. Very small. But it, it suits our needs, so we, we shouldn't complain. Uh, oh, smell. Mm, <sighs> smell so good. Ask uh. him, darling. <laughs> so we have very very marinated uh, meat here with a uh, lot of garlic and black pepper and uh, some salt and this uh, <laughs> barbecue sauce and uh, of course we, we like our meat uh, rare to medium rare we don't have the, the huge flames that we normally have uh, might come later The evening is almost here. The sun is slowly setting. It's like uh, 8.30 in the evening. The sun is not up that long uh, during spring. But the sound of nature. I'm just sitting here completely silent, even if it's a huge camping camping park. It's very silent. And the sun is setting there. Oh, uh, 
and this tree was really nice. Uh, it's not bird's nest. This is uh, <coughs> from the tree itself. And uh, here is our setup. I just went with the rooftop tent today because we, of course, since it's spring, we don't want to sit in the shadow. At last we have the sun, so we want to enjoy it. And I di didn't uh, use the annex as well because <coughs> we didn't need it. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, camper vans and camper trailers here in the area. But, but a, a good first uh, spot to try everything out. And uh, yeah, I will not film that much more, I think, tonight. So see you guys in the evening when I'm gonna uh, make a short video inside the tent and so on. So the, there's rain in the sky, um, so uh, we're gonna use the awning just to prepare if I let it start raining. So I'm gonna take this one out. <coughs> also, also from Wild Band, it's the 180 awning. Just open on each side. <coughs> I got the terrible cold, so sorry for the noise. And there we go. And then you just unzip everything. There. Unclip in three locations. You got these ones. So unclip and unclip. And then you go back to the front. start to take the awning out. Okay. It's not gonna be windy today anyhow, so I just do it like that. As long as we have the roof out. So that's as simple as it is. So now we're gonna make some coffee and enjoy this nice awning. Look at the bird. We got company. The, ah, it's a pheasant, darling. So, in the morning, and uh, we just took out the awning and uh, uh, did some coffee. Good morning. Good morning. So the setup is pretty nice. You can tension uh, the, the awning more, but uh, that, that's sufficient. So let's hang, come around. I'm gonna show you inside. <clears throat> so this is the other side. So, here we are. So plenty of room for two people and a dog. No issues at all. <clears throat> of course, we did uh, uh, close up <laughs> uh, everything properly. So we had some condensation, but you need to have some ventilation open. But it was pretty cool last night. 
<clears throat> and on this side I can have a huge like uh, tent attached to the rooftop tent we'll add another like nine square meters or something I show you that one the next time <clears throat> and the pheasant hen is still lurking around here guys can see her. Sadly she's lying down. Uh, looks really big when she stands up. So time for some coffee then. See you guys later.